When you don't know the truth of who you are, you will believe the lies of what the world says you are. You're ugly. What are you going to do? You're alone. You're not going to be able to do this. Your parents don't even understand what you're going through. No. I am a child of God and I have a heavenly father who's with me one day at a time. And he loves me. And he has a plan for me. And he knows the desires of my heart. And I can present my requests to God. I can pray, God, give me arms and legs. But even if you don't give me arms and legs, what would you rather have? Arms and legs or peace in your soul? Arms and legs or purpose? Arms and legs or eternal life and the knowledge of truth? Give me truth. I mean, arms and legs are going to give me arthritis later on anyway. But when you know that you're an ambassador of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and you don't need to have big biceps, guys, and say the you know, F word to be cool. My biceps are so big they fell off. You understand me? <laughs> you teenage girls, you don't need a boyfriend to feel loved. You're royalty. Your dad is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You're, you're royalty. You don't need a boyfriend. You need a man of God who's going to stand by you no matter what. By the grace of God. Sex is not love. Sex is not love. You can sleep with anyone you want and still wonder if they love you. Money, drugs, sex, alcohol, pornography, fame and fortune. If you put your happiness in temporary things, your happiness will be temporary. I don't want temporary things. I want the truth. And the truth was, when I submitted my life to God, I said, God, Take my sins. Forgive me. I don't want to live in sin. I don't want my plan. I want your plan. Because God's plan is always better than yours, guys. Just in case you're wondering. Amen. Ephesians 3.20, exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask, imagine, or attain. And when I submitted my life to God and committed my life to him at 15, I said, God, I'm yours. I ask for arms and legs, but if you don't give me arms and legs, legs I'm still going to serve you. I still want the world to know that you live. I want to please you in my life. I don't want my wisdom. I want your wisdom. And daily, was Nick perfect? No. But as these lies were taking me closer and closer to the edge, all these lies, when you know the truth, you can turn your back on the lies and say, sorry lies, talk to the foot because the ears ain't listening. <laughs> and we know that it's the powers and principalities of darkness that are much more powerful than us, but nothing compared to the power of Jesus Christ. And when you abide in Jesus, Jesus abides in you. And when you believe in the Spirit of God that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, and you know He is Lord, you become unstoppable in your faith, not because you're an extraordinary person, but because you're an ordinary person with broken pieces, serving and living for the extraordinary one and living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.